Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela, and today I have a very special guest. Me. My husband, Vitaly. So we just got married last year, last June. So it's been almost a full year. Yes, ma'am. So for those of you who were following the channel and my life in general, this seemed like it came out of nowhere. So the purpose of today's video is to explain how we met and how we got married. <laughs> so believe it or not, we actually met on Instagram. V was trolling the socials, looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so the story of how we met. So I had been living by myself in Arizona for about a year, and this was right after I got baptized and I was learning to live for the Lord and date in a way that honors the Lord. Um, which was a whole new process for me. If you watched my YouTube videos before I came to Jesus, like my life was a whole mess. My relationships were a mess. Um, my professional life was a mess. Everything was a mess. And God found me there and helped me begin to put my life back together. So I had been spending a lot of time at the church, um, going through like a recovery slash healing of myself. And I was getting really clear about what I wanted in a husband because that's like the most important decision we ever make. Like it's not like what we do for a living. It's no, like who we bind our life to for the rest of our life. So I had been getting really intentional about that and I ended up making a list of what I wanted in a husband because how are you supposed to get what you want if you don't know what that is? So I made a list and I was like, he has to love the Lord, he has to be good with money, he has to love family, he has to be emotionally intelligent, just all these things. And I posted it on my Instagram story and that's how V found me. What were you doing at that time in your life? Like when, <laughs> when you found me on Instagram, like, you were just working a lot, like you didn't think you were gonna meet somebody, right? I mean, I guess I was intuitively looking for somebody, mm -hmm. you know, it uh, definitely was something on my mind. And of course, finding somebody who is perfect for my situation, which was to settle with somebody that I really like mm -hmm. and who has similar values and principle as me and a right. vision for the future. Makes sense why the list is what intrigued you because yes, it was all right Yes, there. it was very specific. <laughs> it was very to the point. I didn't want to waste any time in my life, right? Because I have an agenda of where I see myself, where I want to go. And uh, it's true, career has been the number one placeholder of that space for me. Mm -hmm. And so knowing that I would find uh, somebody eventually, I needed to make sure that that person Wasn't was- waste your time. Correct, mm -hmm. and their time for that matter, so. Or at that point in time, my whole brand was Mindful Michaela. So that was how our first conversation started, was he asked me my favorite tips for mindfulness. So it, it was never like a dull moment of like, how's the weather? Or like, hey, what's up? It was like intentional conversations from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. I think we both showed interest in each other on a deeper level from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It definitely didn't start off with something shallow. We kind of dove right into it. Yeah. And I think that's what excited you and I about each other. Yes. Is the fact that not only were we willing to go there, but it'll flow very organically and naturally. Yeah, yeah. he didn't just care enough to, to go there and to ask me and to get to know me and to be there through all the things. He was also capable enough to hold that space um, because I feel like at that point I had a lot of thoughts and I have lots of existential questions and things that I need to like work out via dialogue. And I didn't really have anybody in my life that I was able to have those conversations with and so when I met V, it was like right away, we're having like five hour FaceTimes. And it never was awkward. It never was uncomfortable. It was never something that we shied away from. It really is a little weird the way that it worked out because it kind of was really smooth from the beginning. You know, we opened up to each other 
uh, probably way more than an average person would given yeah. our scenarios and situations, but I feel like that led into more things, and which is why we got married so quickly. Yeah, so all of this was by like week two of talking to each other online, and V makes the joke, you should come visit. So what did I do? She bought the tickets and she visited. Everybody in my life was like, what the heck? Like my close people that knew. So my family, my family's always kind of trusted me. Like my family lives in Indiana and I was living in Arizona on my own for a few years. Um, so none of them really knew what I was doing. Maybe I like mentioned it like, hey, I'm on a flight. But for the most part, I had friends in Arizona that were like, what the heck, like this seems crazy. You don't know this guy. And for the record, don't do this. Yeah, okay. and so at the time that I was coming to visit, it was like a super pivotal point in my life in Arizona because my lease was coming to an end and I was about to re-sign my lease with my then best friend and she was gonna be moving from Indiana to Arizona. We were supposed to be roommates, so I had been touring a bunch of properties. And I remember V just telling me like, please don't sign anything. Like don't sign anything until you come for the weekend. And so I was like, okay, I won't. Um, so I come for the weekend and we were just like instantly best friends. Can I just take a moment and emphasize again that people shouldn't really like do it this way there's a lot of like bad people out there That's who scam true. and kidnap i mean i don't know but like it's really not the way to go yeah especially you know just moving in right away which we'll get to but we just knew you know and we just had it was to like be... god arranged our marriage because yeah. I feel like I'd just been through so much and I was like talking to God all the time um, about finding you and and it just so happened to be the right time. Like it was my requests to God were in, were in alignment with his will. And so it happened to be the right time and the right person. And so it worked out for us, but for, not, definitely not going to be the protocol yes. or what we're even recommending yes. for and I'm sure you'll make a video on that later of how to discern you know people and relationships and things like that I but, will yeah I for will. the purposes of this video just know that we both knew and based on our experiences and the way that we operate this made a lot of sense and obviously it worked yeah and I like the point too of there's a difference between um, chemistry and compatibility like we talked sure. about and while we had both our compatibility like we have the same goals we have the same values we have the same like vision for our life and so when we met each other we we're like what the heck like you could be my power team what I've noticed over time is that our love continues to grow stronger 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 like I love you more today than I loved you yesterday you know, my heart wasn't fully, like, I hadn't entirely fully given myself 100%. Um, like, in my head I did, but my heart continued to open up and open up and become more... Which more makes creative. sense, you know, when you don't know somebody that well. I mean, first of all, you can feel all these different feelings, but the reality is, if you go into a relationship this quick, you also have to have an expectation that you don't know the person. Mm -hmm. But you don't know them too well. And love grows the more you yeah. know somebody. Just like exactly. you love God, the more you get to know God. Well, even people I feel like who've been married for decades, you know, they still continue to explore themselves and discover things about themselves and each other. Yeah. But yes, the compatibility aspect of it is incredibly important. It's like the glue that of was the, the relationship yeah, yeah because everybody could feel a certain way towards somebody else you know the chemistry i'm sure two strangers can have, know, a, lot can have a lot of chemistry and zero compatibility yeah yeah, yeah yeah and it just doesn't last the longevity of the relationship it won't, exactly so you know i come to visit and i decide by the end of this weekend i'm coming back i'm gonna move here and we thought it was gonna be by the end of the month, we thought I was gonna, okay, I'm gonna go back to Arizona, I'm gonna get my stuff in order, I'm gonna get out of, you know, like, end this lease, I'm gonna sell all my stuff, sell my car, and, you know, we gave me about a month to, to quit my job, to give a good notice, all this stuff. 
So I come back and all of my stuff was sold within the first week. So one week in and I was in an empty apartment. I had nothing and I had no ride to work even. And the friends that I had in Arizona ended up cutting me off because they thought that my decision to move here and be with him was so crazy and reckless. Like now I know looking back, not true friends, you know, true friend would support you and maybe talk to you if they think it's crazy, but they wouldn't just cut you off entirely. But anyways, I'm in this situation now where I'm in Arizona completely on my own. I have no way to get around anywhere to even buy food, let alone go to work. And so V was talking to his dad and they were like, why don't you just come now? I had lived my whole life, you know, not honoring God's will or God's word. And so I knew it was going to be really important not to sin against God. And that was something like I wanted to make sure of. And if you're living with somebody you're not married to, that's going to be so incredibly difficult. And, you know, there's something about like a man that loves you. They're going to want to make you right before God. They're going to want to make you holy before God. V, like right away, like we just talked about, like, let's get married. One of the things too is we didn't get married very quickly because we had to, uh -huh. because we're like, oh, we're living together, might as well get married. You know, I feel like it was also very organic. I think you yes. and I felt that that was right. And at that time, we just happened to be living together. So it wasn't like, you know, strictly because of this circumstance right it was inevitable that we would get married so it's like why not just do it yeah yeah now. and the and the rubber ring was so funny because since it was so quick we had no <laughs> opportunity uh or time to get the rings or anything like that uh we ended up going to ukraine all those places to get custom made rings mm -hmm. but that was you know a couple of months later yes um, so I rocked the rubber ring until then. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool, but... <laughs> His mom and dad met on a subway in Ukraine and got married, what, two weeks later? Yeah, and then, super quick as well. And then they've been married 25 years. Yeah. So in V's eyes, like, this was, yeah, this was like... Well, like I said, I wasn't awesome. really, uh, you know, my goal wasn't to waste any time. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, you know, messing around anywhere. Uh, my primary goal was work and relationships wise i was looking for somebody who i can spend my life with and that opportunity came about sooner than i expected so that's really our story i do plan to you know film some videos about surviving year one of marriage because as you can tell like it was definitely really hard moving in with somebody like we didn't really know each other so surviving year one of marriage i will have maybe even a toolkit, but definitely a video coming out on that. I don't know, do you feel like you survived? I feel like I survived and I thrived. <laughs>